Good morning, everybody. It's, uh, let's see, October 29th, 2014. We are, my goodness, almost, well, it's almost Halloween, so there's that. Um, and I am 49, moving into 50, so I'm very stoked about this. Gonna try and to, as you can tell, I've uh, <laughs> between episodes I've uh, been leveling on my own, off camera. But I'm gonna uh, be sure to to uh, stream 49 in its entirety just because uh, I, I want to. <laughs> so there's that. Um, let's see now. Last time. Okay, this confuses me because it says to obtain water from Jade Pond. And this is Jade Pond. <laughs> and it says I can't use it here, so I don't... I am filled with confusion. I mean, um... Unless there's a pond up top that I'm not seeing, but... But anyway, good morning. <coughs> it's, um... Uh, Wednesday? Hump day? So... Halfway through the week. And, um... I'm glad that I can actually start, uh earlier today. Not by a lot, but you know. Every little bit counts. So I'm just going to ride above where the pond is. I mean, I <laughs> it, it, it confuses me. This is the second quest to Hasla that um, doesn't seem to be working. The one before it was the um, a monument that I had to read. Oh, nail just hit 29. Congrats, buddy. Well, you know what that means. See ya. I try and, uh... <laughs> ride on these guys equally, so I can kind of level them up equally, but... Um... Let's see. Yeah, this is the only pond. I don't know why I can't yep and, and do I have an empty bottle it gave me an empty bottle yeah yep there it is so I'm not sure if it's a specific location I'm gonna try it one more time and then if it doesn't like in different locations in the pond and if it doesn't doesn't allow me to do it, then I've got no idea what's going on. There we go. Okay. Turn this one in and go from there. Oh, this way. And luckily we have, uh, or fortunately, we're, we have enough, uh, we are fortunate enough to have 32 minutes of, uh, peace time, so, I'll totally take that. But there are reds about. Well, 
not seeing an opening. So I'm just going to glide in. Wow, that little, little bit of a fall gave me that much damage. This water, it smells foul. There's no question it's been tainted. But this is no proof that our village is the source. To be fooled by the Harani. We have no intention nor means of doing such a thing. It's foolish to go around saying we pollute the land and spread disease. Why would we cause it? when we're the ones building farms on these lands. Don't ask me. I don't know why they do it either. I suspect it's because they see we don't succumb to their sickness or lose crops to the tainted fields. We can treat the diseases and purify the land, but the Harani refuse to accept our help, saying they can't trust us. We won't force them to either. If you don't believe me, when I say we're not responsible for the state of the land here, I'll make you a cleansing totem. We'll also show you a cure for the Harani's disease. To purify the tainted land, I'll need Millennium Herb. You can find them in the bamboo forest nearby. Please bring me some. Solongo can help you can help with the medicine to cure the recent sickness. Traveler, I have a favor to ask you. The Harani fo forced us out forced us out to this deserted village without much time for preparation. I'd ask you to slay small earth elementals in the surrounding forest and bring me their earth elemental extract. I've been repairing this hut to escape the rain and at least have a place to light a fire, but it's not very weatherproof. The earth extract comes in handy for all kinds of things, not least of which is acting as a sealant. Alright, and Solungo. If you're willing to trust us, then I think we can make enough medicine to treat the Harani's illness. It will take some work, though. Go to the bamboo forest outside and kill mud golems to get hardened clay crystals from them. Bring me those materials. I'll take care of the rest. Okay. And that's all the quests here. I just need to find the front gate. <laughs> and there we are. I assume with a lit, <laughs> lit fires there. <coughs> so I rode past several golems, so... Let's see... That's Millennium Herb. Ah, oh, there it is. And on the way, kill some mud columns. Alright. Shackle. Man, this guy's hit so hard. No, oh, wait. Let me kill you first and grab those two. I'll leave a lot of room to kite, but.
proud of you. I don't know about you, but I'm really enjoying this music. Kind of gives you a sense of urgency to get to 50, but... of arrow with your AOE. Thankfully you don't D-level. This would have been like, um... Oh, well, hell. <laughs> Hold on, let's see how far back I... There we go. <laughs> Called it though. I thought, well, <laughs> and I thought I could eat the uh, the bread on the run, but you can't. So, <laughs> so also good to know. Try not to attack elementals near the golems because I don't want to pull two at once because, well, <laughs> we've seen how that works. Alright. Man, it's like they know every time I prep to give them the Cuss of Arrow, they're like, nope. Yeah, I th 
thought you might. If I can bring him, oh my god, come closer. <laughs> there we go. There we are. Low on mana. Oh, what's three here? Complete, complete. Oh, I still need more, uh, where it kills off the mud golems, okay. I just said before, <laughs> out of mana, and yes, I still attacked another mode golem. So, and <laughs> the trolling flute that I possess, <laughs> giving us the almighty plus five to our mana pool. around this guy. I'm trying not to attract a lot of attention because, well, there's room, but there's not a lot of room to run around. Here we go. That helps as well.
so since I'm so close to well, so close. Relatively close to fifty. Well, if I'm stuck in uh, shackle, sure. Then the next question becomes, what, are, what do you do? Oh, sweet. What do you do after you hit 50? Because... Honestly? Okay. Oh, wrong guy. Oh, it's Anjo. There we go. Gearing in this game seems really, um, I'm not going to say difficult, but it is, uh, different. I mean, it's not as cut and dry as, say, other MMOs, you know. After I hit 50, I mean, the only thing for me to continue to do would be to roll an alt, which I am planning to do. Um, this time it'll be a an elf versus a Nuyen. And I'm wondering if uh, if we can have opposing um, a character from the opposing faction on the same server. I'm not sure if that's a thing or not, but that is something I'm going to look into. Ideally, I wouldn't mind reading uh, the story lines for all four, but... I don't know if I have to uh, jump to a different server to have uh, the Fear and, and Harani, but... See how that, see how that goes. Can I jump the fence? Yep, I can jump the fence. Alright. That's good. These are just the ones. Shall I get started on the purification totem then? Creating it will take some time. Please give me some room to focus. Thank you. I'll put this to good use right away. You brought them? Good. Re the rest is all ready to go. Here. This is a paste made by mixing herbs into the clay. They should use it as a poultice to draw out the sickness. Bring it to Janunji's <laughs> aid, Nimu, at the Sage's Temple. The Harani would never listen if we brought it ourselves. But aid Nimu is a mediator for us, so they should trust it if it comes from her. I've been watching you ever since you came here. You've shown no hostility to us. I would like to trust you. This is a petition from our tribe. Will you take it to the Sage Janunji at the temple? At the first sign of trouble, when the sickness appeared that the Harani couldn't cure, they blamed us. Despite that, we were also affected and had been working to cure it. They cast all Tamika out from the villages and exiled us to this place. As you can see, it's not an ideal situation. Even if we build it up, it's too far from workable land. We're not asking for much. We just want to go back to the villages and live a normal farmer's life like we used to. Please help us get our homes and fields back. Please. Alright. Oh, 11 minutes. And yeah, jump the fence. There we go.
Alright. Oh, sweet ass pagoda. This had better be important. I've been mediating for hours, and you're here disturbing me? I had just reached the state of highest bliss. And by mediating, I, me I mean meditating. <laughs> when, I've, when I've reached that state, it's like, it's like the smell of flowers, even if none are blooming. I've been working on this all day, and now you've ruined it. How exactly do you plan to rectify this situation? As your penance for disturbing my meditation, go bring me a fresh bouquet. There should be plenty of flowers around. I'll use the smell to inspire my next session. So the Tamika sent another cure, despite the hatred the Harani have shown them. They're such honest people. I'll bring this to the villagers right away. I'll bring the Tamika's medicine pack to Gale Garden, but I'm very concerned for my brother. Here, if you promise me you'll bring some of the cure to my brother, I'll head out to the village right away. Let's see. Now, do I go through the cave to get to where I need to go? No. Oh, you small map. died before. Oh, you're kidding me. Honestly, I just wanted some flowers, man. Not trouble. Now you see what I mean by there's room to move, but not a lot of room to move? That, that exchange, you saw a lot of leaves fly by the screen. I hope it's not for every flower I pick, because that would be... Oh, annoying. Yep, that's going to be a thing. Alright. I guess it gives me more XP per flower pull, but still, a bit annoying. Just relax there, mud golem. Stay right where you are. And last one.
guess I should turn these flowers back in before continuing forward. I do get the sneaking suspicion that once peace period ends and I should happen to run across a, uh, and such as that, he might try to run me over. We'll see. People are weird, man. It's like when you're playing a PvP game, as soon you're as soon as you know you're able to kill the other faction, people just sometimes just go just just off. Hmm. What a smell. Better than any Nuyen perfume. Well then, now that I can smell the flowers, I feel much improved. Shall we Shall we read what you brought me? A petition, I see. Hmm, yes. I have a solution. It's time to use the long-ranged airship design. If you follow the road to the south, you'll find a small storage cave. Find my diagram in one of the crates. Why, you ask? Well, most of the time, the easiest end to strife is to reconcile. But it's not always the right end. In actuality, isolation is a much more concise and concrete solution. The Harani already seek to leave for Aurora. Once we're there, we can hand this land right back over to the Farron. At the moment, the Harani are trying to raise the funds and resources they need to get to Aurora. It's taken longer than they expected. But as a sage, I have a solution for their problems. It's time for me to share it. Which I assume by caves, it's the thieves caves right in here. one with the cave bats. Alright. Oh, and they would be 46 one stars, wouldn't they? Huh. He wasted no time. That's why I hate cave bats. <laughs> Actually, no. Not the cave in question. It's on the other side, so... <laughs> I'm out. Oh, Deadlet. You and I are crossing paths way too much for my comfort. Oh, it's less than a minute. Mm, mm, mm. You watch. I'm going to call it now. Me and Dudlet, we're going to have words. Because I, I, I kept the impression he's on the exact same um, quest path as I am. Here we go, tension one. Let's see how long this goes. Well, I was hoping to get out of the uh, way of cave bats, but no. Yep. I'll get the crates right there. I wonder if I can sneak past this, this, uh, past the cave bat. That would be. Big deal. Let's see. God, he's right there, though. Couldn't just move out the way, could you? You're gonna straight up guard that, aren't you? Alright, heck with it. 
Got more room to kite here than I did before, so... I'm just gonna grab one of these. If you can uh, distract, there you go. Okay. All right, buddy, we're out. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, come at me all you want. I'm out of here, son. Really? <laughs> ah. So let's see if I, uh, if my theory is correct. It's early enough that <coughs> anyone I come across is like, well, it's way too early for this nonsense, but you never know. Yes, you found the right one. I'll bring this to the other Harani. Though it hasn't been proven, this airship design should be capable of taking us all the way to Aurora. Now the friends should support our success, since it means a victory for them as well. Arg! I was going to send the medicine to Gale Garden, but I had to turn back because I couldn't get through the cave. The cave path is much shorter than taking the road all the way around, but I can't be away from the sage for too long. I have an idea. Will you take the medicine for me? Just bring it to Yoko at the farmer's rest. Maybe hunt some cave bats while you're at it, so maybe I can use the cave next time. Oh. <laughs> sure, why not? Let's see now. Now that is the cave in question, all right. Ah, oh, these guys. All right. I do hope that their respawn rate is slower. <laughs> oh crap, that was quick. Damn. <laughs> I just wanted to take a look, see, I did not want to engage. No. <laughs> Good, not good. Oh, 
Oh, the veggie bread for the win. Okay. Soup and bread. Oh. I just finished killing you. <laughs> you annoying bastard. Let's see if I can sneak past you. I mean, I need to kill a third, but... Actually, I'll try and kill him. There we go. My goodness, look at all these damn bats. No. <sighs> Screw it. I'm running, 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 running. Yep. Yep, I'm going to probably pull all of you and... Uh-huh. He's still, amazingly, he's still coming at me. Wow. Alright. This will be the test right here. Let's see if Homeboy comes at me. The Tamika the Tamika sent medicine? Are you crazy? This is definitely poison. We'll all die. I told you to question them, not make friends. You knew where this medicine came from, and yet you brought it here? Telling us to take it? I have no doubt it's a trick. I can't die yet. I haven't been able I haven't been to Arroyo yet. I have to stay strong, stay on guard. I shouldn't have sent you in the first place. I heard what Yoko said. Are you really siding with the Tamika? Everyone here thinks it's obvious the disease started with them. My husband, Maru, fell ill as well, and was sent to the cursed village. I haven't heard from him since. I don't even know if he's alive or dead. Will you go to the cursed village and check on my husband? Tell him I love him. All right. Where is the cursed village? Hmm. Ah, there it is. Kind of, well, I'm already heading in this direction, so I'll try and complete desperate measures and then come back for a sisterly concern, but...
to try it, but I don't want to run right off the cliff, so... <laughs> We're going to keep uh, La Mancha's call it <laughs> in our pocket and try not to use it. Now, normally I, my stream goes from 7 to 8, um, but uh, since I started a little bit earlier, I do have a, a phone call to make at 8 o'clock, so I, uh, I am going to finish up a scotch earlier. Um, but that being said, um, I hope that I had started early enough to where I actually gave the full hour, because uh, I, I don't want to... Uh, I would prefer to, oh man, uh, well at least these mist fiends aren't, you know, one starred. wife sent you? Oh, Comey. I didn't want to heap worries on my wife's shoulders. That's why I haven't sent her any word. It was foolish of me. I'll write her right away. A shame I can't say when, I'm, uh, when I'll be able to overcome this sickness and go home. I fear our countrymen have given up on finding a cure for this disease. Rira has driven us to this village, away from our homes. They didn't even try to help us. I have to stay strong for the sake of my wife and my brother. The latest rumor is that a cure can be had by steeping mandragora root into a tea. Would you go and get some for me? It may not be easy. The mandragora are strong. I failed to kill one myself a few times. All right. Is there a blacksmith? Yes. <laughs> Let me dismount here. Let me open up the uh, Guild Garden's gift. Oh, sweet! A Guild Star and some XP. I'll take it. And I've been holding on to that for a while, too. Okay. Molted Mandragora. Collect Mandragora Root. Let's see. Do I have to go far? It doesn't seem like I have to go very far. Okay, interspersed between the plagued people and the mist fiends. Modeled Mandragora.
Here's the thing, I want to... Okay, hold up. Put you on standby and I'll pull without having to... throw you in here. Now go on defense. Slightly out of range. There we go. Okay. This one back in. You brought some. I'll send this to Boyle right away. I sure hope this works. Most of the people who come here are terrified they're going to die soon, but I disagree. Our illness isn't as serious isn't as serious as it seems, but the plagued ones, theirs is different. It's deadly. I actually fear their disease contem contaminating the rest of us. We must kill them before they bring us all down, every single one of them. Hu Jang, no. They were our friends, they're just sick. How can you how can you suggest this? Hey Maru, wake up. They don't even recognize their own family. You wanna end up like them? They'll be fine once their sickness is treated. Bah! How do they expect to be treated? If you think we're so bad... Well, I've got a bridge to Arroyo to sell you. Hey, Traveler. Why are you still here? Get rid of the plagued ones. It should be easy enough for you, right? Do you know why we're sick? Do you know what will happen to us? We don't know anything. Only that we've been abandoned. Some of our number have completely lost themselves and begun wandering the forest like they no longer know what they're doing. Please help them. Here. This is the Staff of Awakening. If you see any of the crazed villagers, show it to them or touch them or even hit them with it if you have to. They should wake up. with this guy. Oh. Oh. My goodness. The quest said craze, not plagued. That's me not reading. <laughs> That's what I get for being really dumb. Oh, look at you go. Yeah, the crazy people are over here. Okay. How oh, do I have? 
have to subdue them first. Some of those 50% ideas, so that was going on. That should be close enough. Let's try this again. What? He is crazed! Clearly, that person was crazed. Crazed villagers. Cursed forest. And there's not even a uh, requirement for being at half health, so... What am I missing? Try it on this cursed female over here. By cursed, I mean crazed. Ah! <laughs> I guess I was just way too close. That's what it was. heard that or not, but if you did, that was uh, my little reminder that I need to make that phone call, so I'm going to turn on this quest and uh, call it a stream. 23% in. Well, maybe more than that. 20, 23 and change. Let's see how this goes. Oh, I'm so glad that worked. We have to stay vigilant. It could happen to any one of us, you know. 25, so a quarter of the way there. All right. Okay. Well, that is the end of my stream. I, um... I just want to say thank you for anyone that's been uh, keeping up with my uh, my streams, my VODs, uh, anyone that has uh, followed me on Twitter. Uh, please feel free, to, feel free to follow me on Twitch and on YouTube. YouTube's where I keep all, uh, where I archive my videos. Um, I'm still working on the quality of the videos. I, I seem to still get some, uh, um, some popping and stopping. So I'm going to try and figure out how to improve that. Uh, that issue, but um, happy Wednesday to all of you out there. Uh, I hope all of you have a good day. I'll be back here tomorrow at 7 a.m., 7 a.m. ish. <laughs> um, but until then, please everyone have a good day, and I will see you then. Have a good one. See you. <laughs>